Okay, so we got a Boisita for our Lucy. What do we need to refit it? Not very much, fortunately. We need a 3mm Allen wrench, a 3mm T Allen wrench, a posi drive screwdriver, four M6 Form A washers with a minimum thickness of 1.5mm and a maximum thickness of 2mm. We're also going to want some M5 by 16 countersunk screws. These are going to replace the uh, the ones that you remove that are on the stocker that they're M5 by 12 because we're going to raise the engine up a little bit we want to put a bit more thread in there so be able to support it better okay so we got the previous engine out of our Lucy and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to swap a few parts over from the original engine to the new to the new Boisea engine you're going to install you're going to need your uh, clutch cover clutch clutch case you're going to need your carburetor, you're going to need your velocity stack, you're going to need your filter set. If you're putting a pipe on it, you're going to need to install a pipe and whatnot. I highly recommend that you do it like this if you can. So you pre-assemble it before you go to put it in there because it just makes it so much easier because this will just all come out in one package. Okay, so to prepare the Boisita to fit it into the uh, into the Lucy, we need to do one, one thing before before we go any further. We need to put some washers on the underside of the engine to, to gap it up a little bit so that the carbon fan cover clears the chassis and we get a real good mesh on the gears. So, let's go do them on. Okay, so what we need to do is we need four washers. We need to put two, we need to put two on the clutch housing and we need to put two on the Boisita's fan housing. For ease of installation, what I do is um, I just put Drop a little dab of super glue, only a little bit, on, and if we just drop the washer on, gent gently, go steady, watch you don't glue yourself to it. Like so. Okay, we're going to need to give the glue some time to go off, so um, maybe go have a coffee, beer, cup of tea, whatever you want to do, whatever rocks your boat. Um, one thing, uh, just see that you put a, a, a towel or, or a mat or something underneath the engine while you're doing this, just so you don't go super glue something you shouldn't do to uh, something that you shouldn't do. <laughs> so uh, just go steady with a super glue and um, It'll all be good. Okay, so we got our engine pack all prepped and ready to drop in. Got our, the glue's gone off nicely on the on the washers that we need to space the engine up. So let's drop it in. Just set it in there nicely in one lump. <clears throat> Make sure that the um, that the holes are over the slots for the screws and once we got it in there nicely I just like to um, flick the model over onto its side like so using our extended screws okay the uh, Lucy got this pretty neat idea with the mesh that um, they have these spacers that go in the slots here and they automatically set the gear mesh for you there's a number on them as you'll see this one's 19 because we're running a 19 tooth pinion so basically the number goes in the direction of the filter so the filter is heading is coming in that way so we put the number in that direction so if we just get the hole <coughs> And the fan case lined up, get him started. <clears throat> Don't do them up tight just yet. Get the one up diagonally opposite in. Get them started. Just be careful not to cross thread them or anything, just take your time. <clears throat> I 
don't do them all up so <coughs> excuse me don't do them all up tight so you can move it about a little bit if you need to but now they're all in you can snug them up if we do them diagonally and once we got them snugged up with a hand driver then we can go out and with a tea wrench to give them the final tweak that they need so they don't come out Next we need to connect up our fuel lines. <clears throat> just if you have left some fuel in the tank as I have to do this, just before you take the caps off, loosen it off just to release any pressure that you might have built up in the tank in case you live in a warm area where it could do. Remove the uh, cap or whatever you've got stop blocking the off. The black line goes to the bottom, fitting on the carburetor and the yellow line goes to the top make sure you put your lid back on snug them up just make sure the lines aren't kinked at all there's no stress in them there you go ok then we got the engine in all nice and tidy and we know that's all snug we connected up our fuel lines, black line to the bottom, yellow line to the top. We need to connect up our throttle linkage. Basically all we need to do here is flip the kidney round so that the it basically faces the other way. It would face back like so. We needed to face out forward, so let's pop him on. We put him on the wrong way. So, <clears throat> got a little screw. Just be careful with this little devil. Get him nicely on it. Snug him up neat. One of the other things that we recommend that you do is, is that you reset all your radio settings, your EPAs, your sub trims for your throttle and brake back to neutral. So once you've found, once you've got everything set back to neutral, make sure that you've got your, your throttle arm on the servo and as the best position as possible. And just take the time to set up your EPAs. Because if you don't set up your EPAs, you're going to burn out your servos. If you're on full on brake or if you're on full on throttle all the time, it's going to end up burning some out on you. So just take the time to set that up and um, you'll be good to go. Now, that's, that's all done. Just put the body shell back on, fuel it up. We highly recommend that you use Bardal Race Oil or the KXT or KGR. We also recommend that you um, run it in, at, uh, run the engine at 32 to 1, or 3 to 4 percent, basically whatever you're most comfortable with. Half an hour of run time to run it in is plenty. No need to spend any more time than that. And uh, stock needle settings for the carb is one and a quarter turns on both the high and the low.